All right, guys, so we've been at this for a while, but I just better make a video, just kind of update. Um, we're at Dodo's right now. We're with Sabeco Company, the electric company, and we're trying to figure out um, how much wire we need. And I think we're up to 100 meters of wire. Um, there's one pole there, and then we had to walk back here to see what the other one was, and it's way over here over this hill we just took a walk over there we had to walk to the path and uh so i think we do need to make one more pole i was hoping we wouldn't have to do that just to save some money but it sounds like we're gonna have to get one pole um and of course it sounds as of right now i think we need 100 meters of wire so um yeah just a little update this is kind of what's going on right now i don't think they're gonna be able to do it today because um, I think Dodo has to take, oh, well, I know he has to take like a seminar, like a two hour class, and then some other requirements. So this is something that is not gonna happen right away. They, they need to do that. And then, you know, you need to follow, you know, the rules and the laws. All right guys, so the electricians just left. Um, I'll show you the bill and kind of talk about that in a second. But we do have to replace um, a lot of these wires. I was gonna show it up close. A lot of these wires kind of electrocute you guys when you touch them, right? So you can kind of see up here. It's not very safe. So after all said and done, it'll be a more safe house. But all of this is going to be replaced. So yeah, so it's going to be a lot safer to plug everything in. So I'm gonna kind of go over this just for just in case some of you are interested in uh, you know projects or uh, the electricity cost here. The last one we did was uh, for um, Wilson. I'll turn this around. The last one we did for was for Wilson, and I think that was 200 plus. I'm not exactly sure, but um, it was around there. So we were hoping it was gonna be close to that, or possibly be cheaper if they didn't need a pole. Uh, my throat is dry right now. Um, water's a problem right here. So there's no water here. And there's no water at our house. Of course, there's drinking, but then I forgot my water bottle that I usually bring. And uh, it's the end of the day. So I haven't had water in a while. So I'm a little, my throat's a little dry right now. But anyway, um, so here's the cost. We we're hoping this is going to be a little bit cheaper. But you know, it is what it is. So here's the list. You can kind of see it's long. Um, a lot of that is like PVC, you know, electrical stuff. Um, they're going to get they're going to get five outlets, five switches, and five plugs, five bl uh, bulbs, and then they do have to get the pipe. It's called the GI pipe, which is you know uh, the pole, pretty much. So I'm not sure exactly where the pole is going to be, but that's a uh, another expense. That's around two thousand for the pole and the um, things that go along with that. So and then uh, of course the wire and everything, and then. The labor, so all together anyway, it was, it says 17343 there, but they said uh, you have to pay for the documents, you have to pay for um, other charges, miscellaneous charges, so it's pretty much going to be 18,000 pesos, which is, I think, 310 plus dollars, so, you know, that's, you know, that's a lot of money, so that's, why a lot of families don't have electricity here just because it's you know it's not cheap so i think that's the update for right now um yeah so once this is all said and done though it will be a much safer house and then they don't have to rely on their neighbors because if you haven't seen other videos the reason they got shut off is because many of these houses here were connected to one um wire or whatever so they're all kind of bleeding off of that one so it ended up being too much and they, um, the neighbors asked them, you know, to kind of get their own, which, you know, is, it makes sense because you don't want too many people on one. So at least now, once they get their own, uh, it'd be safer. <laughs> so that's the update anyway. So that's the cost for this one, around 18000 And yeah, I think I said everything I needed to. So they still need to take the seminar class and then we'll go from there. So hopefully you guys learn some from this if you're interested in this. And yeah, we'll see you guys soon. All right, so I was just passing through and uh, I thought I'd do a little update with Mary Faye and her mom. So uh, we took a little break from 
the physical therapy and the hospital visits because Mary Faye had her prom. How was that? Let's hear it from you. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. Fun, yeah? <laughs> Did you part dance all night? Dance. <laughs> that's that's fun. That's really cool. Those are those are good memories to have. So I'm really glad that you're able to enjoy that. And then it's kind of like your whole it's different prom here because um, people are able to come here and kind of participate in the dance. Like your sister went yes. and your sister danced at the prom. Did your mom dance at the prom too? Yes. No. But people are allowed, like they sell tickets and then people are allowed to go there and dance at the prom, which I think is kind of cool. So it's another way to probably raise money for the event. Okay. And then the ticket is the uh, one. 20 pesos. 20 pesos, okay. Pesos. So that's, that's, that's like a 40 cents or so in USD. Me, my ticket is free. Free. Free, okay. The seven, uh, 65th, uh, five, uh, 65th, 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 uh, so it's not just the school uh, classmates that go. So it's it's other relatives that they want to go out buy a ticket. It's other friends. So that, that's that's really interesting. So they had a dance. How'd your dance go? I love it. Is it okay? Okay. Were you shy at all, or you're no, shy. not shy? shy? Shy a little? Yeah, I'd be too shy to be dancing. <laughs> well, that, that's exciting. I'm really glad you had fun at the prom. So. Uh, so the next thing, she has exams coming up too. So we're trying to figure out a day. And then, I, of course, Rich and I are getting a little busy. We have to do, we have to go to Manila soon for the uh, an interview and things like that soon. So we're trying to pick out days where we can um, do physical therapy for Mary Faye. So she might eventually have to go by herself a few times with her mom and our sister. But we'd like to be able to document that a little bit just because all, we have um, the helpers. So thank you guys so much for helping Mary Faye. But we just want to give a little update for that. Um, so we're trying to figure out a date when she can go because right now she's uh, doing exams and things like that. But anyway, here's a little update. And uh, once we do find some th physical therapy, maybe we can see some of those exercises or whatever they do. I'm, in I'm interested to see what it's like to do the physical therapy, just see what they'll have you to do. And hopefully we can get um, some kind of boot or support if that's what you want and that's what the doctors say the physical therapist because that's what we're waiting for when we asked the doctors for the special kind of boot or some kind of brace they said we need to do physical therapy first so they can evaluate and uh, determine what she needs so so yeah i guess that's the update very cool about the prom i think that's awesome <laughs> so i guess we'll see you guys later and thanks again to the subscribers and we'll see you guys later <laughs> Alright, so I made it back home. You're ready? Hanging out with oh. hanging out with Richie Dad really what you what you say? I thought your mom. Oh <laughs> you thought I was FaceTime with my mom? Yeah. Yeah, we're still waiting for my mom to uh, let us know that she touched down in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So that's a very uh, oh no no not Taiwan, America. She she already touched down in Taiwan. That was, you know, before. I think the last night before we went to bed. But coming to America, that's like 14, 15, whatever hour. So we're still waiting on that. I just checked on Dodo. We're trying to hopefully get that started today with electricity. And then I saw Mary Faye too on the way home. She told me about the prom. She had a really good time with the prom. She did the dance. And uh, so, yeah, so that's good to hear about that. So we're trying to schedule a time we can do physical therapy. And right now our schedules are kind of getting pretty full. <laughs> Are you, are you holding my arm? She's trying to pull all your hair. Yeah, I'm not going to have any hairs left on my arm. She <laughs> likes to hold on to them. We just give her a bath, and while she's uh, doing her bath, she holds on to my, my hair on my arm. <laughs> but she's doing her kick dances, her exercises. She's jumping all over the place. <laughs> mm -hmm. So right now, when I went to uh, uh, Dodo's house, Everyone was gone. I think they're all taking a bath um, because right now there's no water anywhere. There's a big truck going by filling up, you know, people's jugs or whatever they have to hold water. Because mm -hmm. right now it's a big problem. No one has water around this area. Yes, even ours. 
Yep, ours is empty. So we have no water to take a bath. We have to, is that still running a little bit up there? Up there, yeah. A little bit. So yeah. we do have a natural spring that never stops. Yeah. So we're very, very fortunate. But of course, we have to go up there, which isn't you know that big a deal. But there's schedule, schedule there. Some people uh, go daytime, some mid midnight until morning. So they're going to watch their water because it will be gone if you run through there. Yeah, I, I'll go 3 a.m. <laughs> 3 a.m. But even uh, lots of places are having schedules. You can't just go anytime you want. Mm. There's uh, schedules for Mary Claire mm -hmm. area. And they're not doing it in their normal spot. I think they, um, when I went there, uh, I think I think Jim Boy was there. And he was trying to tell me where they were. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, they had to go down far away to take, you know, a bath. So it's not easy this time of year just because water is hard to come by. I think Everything we need to, we have to go back to our old... Well, yeah. Yeah, and it's deeper down. I think it's kind down. of in the valley. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. Look at everything. <laughs> Hello, I just took a bath. Yeah. She, she, after her bath, she's always very, very active. In the morning, she's just very active. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see your new dance moves. Very good. <laughs> Wow! Good dance moves. That's a good one. <laughs> What's that, baby? Hi, ah, do you see yourself? I like going this way because she can see herself and she is fascinated. Look at her eyes, her eyes are so wide. <laughs> Look at you, Emily, that's you! Look at that! Who's that baby? Can you see yourself? <laughs> All right, guys, so Jim Boy is in front of us. Richie's with you right now. We're looking for Jim Boy's sisters. Uh, Dodo's not home. We're trying to get that project going today for their electricity. But they're actually washing clothes right now. Mm -hmm. And um, water is very dry. So people are finding different places to wash. Like they just finished washing this way. And we're not anywhere near Dodo's house. Yeah. And look at all this. Look at this. How dry this is. Like I've been here for, you know, a while. For, through COVID. Like two and a half years. Almost three years. And then come back you know, for six months or more at a time. And this is the driest I've ever seen it. Mm. So, I mean, everyone's walking very far just to find water. Right now we, we checked, Jim Boy wasn't sure exactly where their sister, his sisters were. So we checked, I think this is like our third or fourth spot. The one they usually go to is completely dry. The one we just went to where they go sometimes is completely dry. Mm -hmm. So they're, they've are they been walking all the different places just to find water. And so far, everyone we've been to has been dry. Yeah. So maybe they're here. We're not sure. But and I think they probably bring their own, what's it called, with the, with the rope yeah, to get their own water. Yeah, so they have to bring that everywhere they go because the one we just went to, we couldn't even see the bottom. There's no water anywhere. No, we need water. Yeah. So this is... They're here? So we're just following Jim Boy right now. Alright, so this is a few minutes later. We're still walking. So the one lady that did walk by, she was carrying all that clothes on top of her head. Uh, she walked all this way. And Maria Claire and her sisters, they walked all the way from Dodo's house. Their motorbike is broken right now. So I haven't talked to them today, so I'm assuming they had to carry all their clothes all this way. We rode her bike, which was a little far, so they walked this whole way. No guava. No guava. I've never been over here before, so this is kind of interesting walking through here. At least we have a nice breeze. 
And the sun is behind the cloud right now. I hear a bunch of people, so it sounds like they do have water down there. I probably won't videotape because it's a mix of washing clothes and taking a bath. But I do hear lots of voices. All right, so we came back just in time. This truck has water for this area, for Jim Boy's area. And he has these three containers. I bet that tank goes quick. I know where they get that water. Maybe, maybe some lake or I'm a really, dam. Yeah, I'm not sure. Water down. But you do want to be around when they come to make sure they fill everything up that they possibly can. So all along here, people are waiting outside. You can see even there, you can see some of those barrels there. So even for that water, there's Dodo's house, even for that water, they're not going to bring that to their house. So they'll come, you know, back and forth and bring smaller containers and then bring it back up there. So they still don't really have water at the house. But hopefully that will last for a few days. That's a huge help. Look at all those. Your own big, big yeah, so if you guys remember when we helped Dodo install the CR, we actually got both those drums. So now they're able to fill those up with water. So it's a good thing we got those because without those, they don't really have any containers for water, just because of those little ones. So those really did come in handy, very useful. Getting a tan today? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Mine's not a tan though, mine's just a burn. <laughs> no, you look tan. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. All right. Tangible. <laughs> Tangible. <laughs> Is that a good thing? <laughs> All right, so we found Dodo. He's doing uh, tricycle riding today, which worked out because we need his tricycle to transport this. So that's the pole we need. That would've been kind of hard to take on our bike. So the total for this was 1,785 cement, pole, and some welding stuff. All right, so Dodo's all set. We still need to order the other supplies that the electricians will bring, but this is stuff we had to get on our own.
All right, so we're preparing to go. Dodo's taking off with Marie Claire. I'll follow you guys. I'll see you guys. All right. So I'm going to take my bike and we'll meet them to go get the materials for the electric. All right, guys. So they are closed today. So at least we got the pole ready and we'll have to come back another day when they're closed. It's kind of getting later in the day. Today was a full long day of tracking everybody down. First, you know, we went there and no one was home and Jim Boy, the youngest, told us that they're washing clothes. So we had to go find them. We went to like four or five different locations that, you know, they weren't short walks you saw the one walk that i showed you guys but the other walks we had to walk along the way and find them and they weren't there walked another one they weren't there and finally the last one they were there but here comes um, dodo so i'm gonna let them know that's closed and then we'll probably just come back another day and then order the stuff then we could go on that i was trying to get it done as soon as possible because it's not easy having no electricity 